What's going on guys? Um, it's Dip here. I'm making the, that video that one of my subscribers asked for specifically for warship attack setups. Um, not for PvP. That can be a whole other topic. And I actually did make a warship PvP video before. Um, go check my previous videos. Um, I can try to link it below. So just check the description. Um, the main things that I want to go over today. Um, pl what planes to look for plane order and carrier selection. So those are the three main topics that I'm going to go over. Um, the And I'm actually going to start with the last one. So carrier selection is probably the least important, but it, in most cases for people that like don't spend a lot of money on this game, um, if you already invested in a aircraft type carrier, so an Agaris, a JFK, a Helios, something along those lines that typically does better with planes. Just stick with plane setup. Don't try a warship setup on them. I mean, you can, like, and you can be successful. Sometimes it's even better. But for the most part, efficiency sake, this is a resource management game at its heart. So don't waste resources trying to go to a warship setup if you already have a lot invested in aircraft. It's not going to help. The main thing for carrier selection is you're going to want multiple defensive stats. So the defensive uh, skills in this game are overall armor, overall blockade, or I should say just in general, because it doesn't have to be overall, it could be carrier, but um, armor, blockade, uh, dodge, which is irrelevant against pirates because they have insanely high accuracy. So I'm going to go back to this replay just so I can show you guys. A level 36 Mediterranean Pirate has 670 accuracy. You're not going to dodge that. Um, so Mirage is kind of useless against Pirates um, because they will hit you. So it makes the first thing that I'm going to talk, or the plane order, really, really important because you need defensive planes. Um, and they do, you know, a ridiculous amount of overall attack, right? 1,244 overall attack. So you really, really have to defend your warships with skills and kind of just trust that they're not going to get taken out or blown up in one hit. It's really the hope. It's never uh, never a promise, but it's usually the hope. So carrier selection, try to pick a carrier that has multiple defensive stats or skills. So something along the lines of the Imperial is a good option, the Hades is a good option, the Apocalypse is a good option, Lincoln is a good option, even though it only has overall armor, uh, for pirates, that is. Um, Nyx works, even though it only has overall armor because it has so many ships, it just does a ton of damage. Um, try the, it, JFK can be used, Agaris can be used, but I wouldn't recommend either of them. Um, Avenger is great for it. Um, trying to think anything, uh, any other big ones. So, like Garden, nope, not Guardian. Um, Hornet, something like that. So, things that have multiple defensive skills you are going to have an easier time with it. If you only have one defensive skill, it's no big deal, you can do it, just I wouldn't recommend it. Um, and that's pretty much it for carrier selection. The second thing I wanna talk about is the plane selection choice. There's three main ones that I've looked through all of the planes in the game, or at least in the, uh, the compendium, like the Evolution Factory over here, specifically with the Ultimate ones. There's only a couple planes that are really beneficial for this first slot, and two of them are right here. Eternal Light is my top choice for it because of, at red, three attack barrier. That's really, really important because pirates don't have, or at least 36 Mediterraneans specifically, don't have, um, like, biochemical missile or burn they use the atxd so they have restrain but if you have purify that takes that out so you just want to avoid basic damage and this will this will block all three of the or block all three of the planes damage attempts so you should be able to just block all the damage and as long as you can kill the pirate with your first warship you won't take any damage just because you have eternal light and if you have enough damage output um, the second option it's not as good, but I've seen it work. You have to have really high defense. This only works with highly defensive carriers. If you only have one defense um, on your carrier, the NH-90 will not be a good option. But if you do have multiple ones, that's good. 
Urgent support is one is what you're really looking for here because it gives you bonus warships that take damage before your actual warships. Um, so if they don't break through the urgent support ships, you will have no losses in the fight. So that's why this is important, but this does not work unless you have a multiple defensive uh, carrier. And the third option I do not have is the Valkyrie, specifically for damage absorption. It's really, really good for that, 5% um, max HP. You're going to minimize your losses, and if you have a carrier um, that has multiple damage reduction sources, like Blockade or anything like that, and you run like Sierra or um, any sub that has urgent support, or if you run NH90 with it, you have a really good chance of not taking damage even without barrier. Um, you just need a very highly defensive carrier. So those are the three defensive options that I would recommend. Um, if you don't have access to those, uh, I would probably just recommend sticking with an aircraft setup for now. None of the, well, I guess if I look through like the advanced aircraft, I could come up with a couple um, that work similarly. But yeah, I mean, you might be able to get, uh, still no. Niello Blackwings, you might be able to get away with, but I still wouldn't use it. Niello Thunderbolt, maybe, I think it has barrier, it does. One, so you're still going to take losses, but it won't be terrible. Um, but yeah, if I'm looking through these, these aren't really that great. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't use those uh, for festival aircraft. Obviously, you know, these things are really, really good. I wouldn't use any of them as your first uh, first attempt, actually, now that I see it, Ghost actually might work just because of shield. Um, it'll block damage. If you have a very highly defensive carrier, Ghost might work. And that's it. So none of the other ones, I believe, would work. Yeah, this won't work. Um, I actually don't know what skills the Aquarius has either. Nope. Uh, yeah, Aquarius might work because of shield again. Same situation. It's a pretty uh yeah the percentage and shield isn't great but it, they, it, this one would work as well aquarius would work because of shield so anything that blocks damage from your first a couple attacks would work or would help um and plain order again the same reason start off with the really highly defensive one that blocks as much damage as possible then your second plane is going to you're going to want something that increases your damage so something that applies both sunder and corrosion like the black shark something that just applies corrosion or just applies sunder would be a decent option as well um, so those anything you're basically trying to find things that weaken the enemy warships so that you can bust through them so you could break the carrier in the first couple hits um, and it's kind of a non-negotiable that you need reload so that you can get a couple attacks off to try to blow up the ships that would be returning fire against you um, so that's, that's another big one right there. But hopefully that helped. I think that's all the main topics that I wanted to cover. I can hit another one just so you guys can see. Uh, Mediterraneans are typically the hardest for people to hit. Um, specifically if you're using an aircraft setup, they're actually the easiest to hit if you're using a warcraft setup. Or, sorry, a uh, warship setup. The main reason is, so right here, no losses. Um, the main reason why it's easier, like I said, they use, where, where is it? Oh, I guess that's, hold on. Also, we'll just watch the replay. The main reason is because their warships or their planes don't do like any additional injury damage. They just do flat damage. So the Eternal Light can block all of that very easily. Um, I have used Eternal Light in NH90 before. It works fine. But the best results that I get are typically Eternal Light black shark and then either tomcat or puma um or in this case i use intruder so intruder in place of black shark and i use puma in that last slot just for the reload literally the reload is the only reason i use it um so and then the last one goes this should kill it in one one round and yeah should be dead right here so, ta-da! Um, that's how you kill 36, but this applies for anything above pirate level 30. So, the da their accuracy just goes way up past 20, or pa above 30, so you cannot really get away with dodging them. Um, 30s, if you have really high level equipment, you can, but 
above that, you're really not going to be dodging them too much, so you have to just make sure that you use as much defensive capability as possible. All right, guys, I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below, and sorry this video took so long. All right, have a good one.